Hello and welcome to Two Car Pros. Today we're going to show you how to change the oil in your 2008 Dodge Caravan with a 3.3 liter V6. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay, with the vehicle safely lifted in the air, I have a great video on that located up in the card in the description. We can remove the oil pan drain bolt, making sure that the washer comes along with it. Make sure you have your drain pan ready to go. Okay, so next we need to do is take our oil pan drain bolt and you see that washer right there? We need to replace that with a new one. So here is the oil pan drain bolt. I have my new plastic washer here. These are available at pretty much every auto parts store and we can screw it on. I thought it was rubber at first, but it's not. It's uh, like a hard plastic. So there we go. And now it's ready to go back in the pan. So the next thing we need to do is clean the mating surfaces between the washer and the oil pan. Yes, I know it's still dripping out. That's okay. You're never ever going to get 100% of the oil out of the engine. It's never going to happen. So if it's still just dripping a teeny bit like that, it's fine. Now we can take our 16 millimeter socket and tighten that back up. Looks good. Now we can move on to the oil filter. So the next thing I'm going to do is clean off the oil filter a little bit, maybe get a little bit better grip on it. Although I have to say the accessibility of this oil filter is pretty good. Next, with our drain pan ready, we can loosen the filter. So if your oil filter is a little stuck, you can use a pair of channel locks like I got. Line up my oil catch basin a little bit. Okay. All right, here we go. There we go. And there we are. And when you are removing an oil filter, always make sure that the oil filter O ring right here comes along with it. You can even look up there on the mating surface to make absolutely sure that that o-ring came with your oil filter. So the next thing we need to do is get our new oil filter. I'm using an AC Delco PF53 for today's job. I will leave a link down in the description below for you to go find it. Actually, next we're going to clean off the mating surface between where the o-ring goes and uh, well, where the oil ring goes on the engine itself. Make sure it's nice and clean so we get a good seal for the new filter. Oh, that's looking good. Next, we want to take a little bit of oil on the end of our finger here, and then you want to apply it to the o ring like this. See that? See how it's nice? It's got a nice little film of oil on it now. That will help with sealing it. And you can use new oil or old oil. It doesn't really matter that much because. You're never getting 100% of the old oil out of the engine anyway. So, when tightening an oil filter, you want to get it tight to where it's kind of snugged up, and then you never use tools when tightening an oil filter. Just go three quarters turn when it gets snug. I mean, some people just say hand tight. That's good enough. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is remove the engine oil cap and then place a funnel. Okay, so for today we're using Walmart SuperTech 5W20 full synthetic. It exceeds the rating, uh, the API service rating for this engine with SN, so that's perfectly acceptable. Now, this engine takes five quarts, so there's the big mystery. Five quarts of 5W20 full synthetic. Okay, so the next thing we can do after we put our five quarts in is remove our funnel. 
and then replace our oil cap. With the funnel and oil cap, the funnel out of the way and the oil cap replaced, we can go ahead and check our engine oil level. Now, before I stick it in and find where we should be at, or where it is, I'll show you where it should be at. Okay, see where it says safe? It should be somewhere within this part, the level line, within where it says safe, just there. See that? Yeah. It should be somewhere in there, so I'm going to check it. And what it should read is a little full. Yeah, so I just pulled it out, and the oil level is up here. If my camera's going to focus, just believe me. It's up there. But this is because the oil filter has not been filled up yet by the engine. So we need to start it. I'm going to run for about 30 seconds or so. Okay, so now that the oil has cycled around the engine, we can check it again. You pull it out, wipe it off, then insert it fully and retrieve. And you can see, again, if my camera will play nice with me, there we go. It is just about right there on the upper end of safe. So that is a good place to have the oil, right in the safe zone, top of the safe zone. So that is perfect. So that's how to change your oil and filter in your 2008 uh, Dodge Caravan with a 3.3 liter V6. Thank you so much for watching. This video applies to everything in the year range I listed in the title. It's a very approachable repair. I think this is something everybody can do. It's fairly simple, straightforward. Uh, make sure you take your refuse oil to an EPA rated facility for correct disposal. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe. I'll catch you next time.